Hello to my Leos. This is Queen Amora coming to you with your general reading. All right, Leos. The moon has moved from Pisces into Aries. So a lot of people are springing forward. Springing forward, springing forward, springing forward. That's right. Springing forward from that uh, from the moon in Pisces. Um, and then moving forward into this moon in Aries. So you may have a little bit more energy. Hopefully you all are um, tossing anything that could cause you to be exhausted into a burning bowl. Anything, any body, like cleansing door, cleansing by fire rituals. Let's get into it. I've already prayed over your cards. I already asked Most High God for complete and total clarity. Let's get into your reading. All right, first card out of the deck is Four Swords. Here we have Five of Swords. Here we also have Queen of Pentacles. Here we have Nine of Wands. Here we have the Strength card and also the Judgment. All right. All right, all right, all right. Four swords here. Okay. Four swords. Somebody's probably getting, it looks like somebody's finally getting some rest, you know, just kind of sort of, um, um, you know, just kind of resting your mind, right? The the moon in Pisces um, is, could have been really overwhelming. Uh, that full moon that we had, we had a partial lunar eclipse. And we're still in a full moon phase, but the moon has moved into Aries, right? Which may be giving you a little bit of um, extra motivation to just move forward for some things. When we had the last um, reading, I talked about, you know, just in kind of encouraging everybody, like thinking about the sacrifices everybody's ancestors made for you in your own family. Not worry about other people, but just focusing on your own family. Just think, okay. What did your ancestors do for you before you came to be here today? Grandparents, great grandparents, great great grandparents, so on and so forth, back just so that you could be here today, living whatever life you're living today, right? So somebody may be giving some things some rest. That could have been overwhelming because a lot of things come back into memory when the moon is in Pisces. You know, who didn't believe you? Um, in your younger years who didn't believe in you you know during that time where your sacral chakra was being developed between the ages of eight years old and 14. so if you said you when you grow up you wanted to be x y and z some people say bah humbug that's not a good dream to have you know we would prefer that you be such and such when you grow up right those people and now that where you are right now some of those dreams have been realized you're starting to kind of get back into the swing of learning how to dream big again right so that's where the breakthrough is going to come through for you instead of you know replaying stuff over and over and over again in your mind allowing people to get you upset play these mind games you're not this you're not smart enough you're not this and that so on and so forth so it's saying adjust your crown Stop drinking the potion. Stop eating the cake of living other people's fairy tales about you're not this enough, you're not that, all of this other stuff. So it's just like when people make, you know, snide or negative comments to you or about you or you've said those things to other people, it really is a form of darkness, right? Um, and so really in Pisces being the I believe sign, you have to actually believe it for it to, you know, and then just really, you have to believe that. You have to believe that it's true for it to even, you know, live in or take up space in your universe, right? So if you don't believe it, then source said, don't even make room for it, right? So that's why somebody's on this. You've come out of this long and arduous journey when you look back and just like all the things that people said negative about you or thought negatively about you, you can choose to believe it or not choose to believe it, right? So that's where your strength is going to come from, you know, moving forward. That's where your strength is going to come from. You made a total transformation, a total transformation, total transformation. And that's what it's really all about is like really thinking about all the sacrifices your ancestors made. It's like, okay, some ancestors didn't have the, um, you know, you think about uh, certain an your ancestors. A lot of ancestors did not have an opportunity to think for themselves. People told them what to think. And I'm talking to everybody watching this, this channel. A lot of people didn't have an opportunity to think what they wanted to think, you know. Um, have an opinion about anything, you know, um, some people couldn't go to school, some people, you know, had to, it's just so many different stories, ancestors had to sacrifice just to be where everybody is today, so 
you know, those are things that you want to think about when you're springing forward. So when you feel like somebody is harshly judging you, or even if it's on the other end of that, or if somebody thinks that you're harshly judging them, so it's just saying you can just, you can close out cycles in love and move on. If you feel like somebody thinks that you harshly judge them or vice versa, by just saying you can move on, you really can just move on and just say, adjust your crown and just say you're down to earth, you're relatable, you know exactly how it feels when people judge people. You've been there before. That's where the relatability comes in. And that's where the down to earth comes in is helping other people to adjust their crown. Like I know how that feels when it feels to be judged, you know, and, and the, um, just the, the energy behind that. Right. And so, and just moving beyond that, cause it can cut deep like a sword. If somebody feels like they're being judged or vice versa. Right. So anyway, moving forward. So here we have the six of swords. So I feel like somebody's going to be moving on from some disappointments. You know, some disappointment somebody's moving on from. And here we have the Page of Swords. And I see whatever anxiety you may have been having about some things, I see you be going, you know, moving on from that. Sometimes it just ta it just takes um, having a conversation with someone who is just, you know, giving you kind of a pep talk and just helping you to just remember those things. And that's why I film the videos the way I do and just kind of trying to teach a little bit while I'm um, reading cards is, just go back and remember these moon phases are incredibly important and they're very very powerful you know to know as the moon moves to these zodiac signs um in conjunction with when uh we have these the planets retrograde what all of this means right all of this works together for all of our good right so yeah neptune is also retrograde and that is the planet of transcendence and imagination so imagine what it would have been like for your ancestors if they had that same level of free thinking that you have, right? Imagine, right? And so the, the, the thought to say, you know what, that's not, you're saying something about me that comes across as negative or even on the receiving end and just that person walking away from you because they may have received something that you said was negative and you just letting them just move on. So that's not what I meant. Let me clear this up. If I, if I offended you, if by saying something, I apologize or giving them an opportunity to apologize if whatever they said to you was received wrong, you know, and, or whatever. But so, so and just seeing what you have in common, operating in a, from a heart space, right? But a lot of people didn't get a chance to do that right so source is saying your anxiety about something will be going away very soon so um so that you can continue moving forward in meekness you know and not and not be seen as a weakness right double breakthrough breakthrough for you and somebody breakthrough for you and somebody so you're moving on his tower card here right tower card for you and somebody here we have the hangman. So source is trying to empty somebody out of this, assuming that people are judging you or vice versa. The assumption there. This is Neptune, right? So we talked about this, the Neptune, the sacrificing thing, you know, the assumption of things, right? You know, the um the sac the sacrifice. You know, um, like I said, Neptune is the planet of um imagination and transcendence is also the uh, planet of um bliss uh, a desire for bliss longing for bliss you know so you're longing for a particular life but the moon card is also like being around wolves and sheep's clothing as well so if you're around a bunch of those types of energies you absolutely can be contaminated by that way of thinking jumping to conclusions everybody thinks that somebody say something everything is shady just hurry up and jump into conclusions about stuff when it may not even be that at all so um that's why it's important to balance things out. So carry, feeling like carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders instead of saying, okay, well, I'd rather be booked and busy and not carrying other people's burdens and their bitterness on my shoulders, right? So that's where balance comes in. That's where balance comes in. So here we have the four of wands here. Somebody may have new and exuberant love coming across their lives where they may be celebrating something. So congratulations to you for that. All right. So... But something is really not your responsibility. It's two situations in particular, somebody says, it's really not your responsibility to carry that on your shoulders. And I'm saying that in, you know, and just like, again, and from a spirit of love, 
operating from a heart space. So I feel like somebody's going to do a heart chakra cleanse, you know, and that's the beginning of the higher chakras. You know, that's the beginning of a higher chakra um, place, which you say, what you have in common with people, um, not assuming that everybody has, a, you know, um, this... Uh, and I think about a sword, there's two sides of the sword, right? What was, what people think, what was said in terms of judgment, like people thinking somebody's judging somebody or how somebody was receiving something. Nobody can read somebody's minds, assuming something, jumping to conclusions about things. So, yeah. So I see you moving on. So keep moving forward. It's you versus you. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so somebody has a um, demon of lust. I don't know who that would be, but um, hmm. Hmm. Um, you are protected in love, and so somebody is not happy without you. It could be somebody from your past, love interest or something like that is not happy without you, but you are protected by angels, right? And so close out the cycle in love, solar plexus, chakra cleanse. Something, it's time to heal your wounded self. Trust your first mind and um, ask source for clarity. Time to do a third eye chakra cleanse too. So, yeah. Yep. Somebody put a comment under my video. Speaking of jumping to conclusions, in the last video, somebody put a comment under my videos, um, you know, criticizing the video, right? And the videos about last cycle, I mean, the last uh, set of videos were just really about people being appreciative of all of the sacrifices all of our ancestors made. That's everybody, doesn't it? And I know this is like going across whoever has access to World Wide Web tuned into this channel so I don't know what your skin color is I don't know what your background is I'm talking to a camera so whatever whoever you are whatever your ancestors whatever sacrifices your ancestors made not somebody else's yours that's what the entire this right here is about and the last video was about is really just focusing on what sacrifices did your ancestors make for you? That's what you want to see, what you have in common with other people. Everybody's ancestors made some kind of a sacrifice, no matter how big or small other people think it is, for everybody to be where they are right now. So that's what Source wants, um, you know, moving forward as everybody's breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses, you know, to focus on that. So you're divinely protected. And so Source is saying, you know, they are uh, um, speak, uh, praying for your own strength. Here we have 1111. I am awakening. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you to succeed and to wake up to who you truly are. Right, so I definitely feel like somebody's way of thinking is going to change, you know, and just awakening to who you are and just thinking more of just like what you have in common with people, um, and that kind of sort of but a lot of it has to do with just like dark spell work of just people speaking so negatively over, and this happens to a lot of people. This again is ancestral, if you came from just ancestrally, like a lot of people who people talk negatively over them. You're never going to be anything. You're not attractive. You're not smart enough. You're not good enough. You're not this and that. That may have been passed down through. That could have been something you've been carrying for years, just hearing the stories, just, you know, just through, just through, you know, great grandparents, grandparents, parents, hearing those stories around the house and just really internalizing a lot of stuff, carrying those things. Right. So, there's a, an awakening that's happening here and somebody's in a very vulnerable state right now. And I always talk about when full moon, you want to make sure you protect your energy because this is a time where you really want to get those downloads, journal, think about those sacrifices that were made for you. Do you want to jeopardize all those sacrifices that were made by the people who came before you in your family? 
Everybody's on their own path. Your friends are on their path. Your spouse, they're on their path. Everybody's on their path. So Source is saying, don't jeopardize what your ancestors did for you before. You know, you're trying to make a total transformation. And so you want to come out of the survive. This is where you want to control that lion. See this person right here controlling their lion? Right? And so the hangman is like, you want to surrender that part of yourself, that thinking, and get that heart chakra together. You know, cleanse that heart chakra. That is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.